Hey, what is up guys? Today's video we will try to find out if three musketeers after the recent musketeer buff are back in the meta or if they're still dead in Clash Royale. This is my opinion the most sold three musketeer deck with the e also the defensive capability of the band and the royal ghost suppression and just you also have the elixir pump which is in some matchups absolutely insane and in some matchups again especially against earthquake not too great. If you guys don't want to miss any views in the future on the channel don't forget to subscribe also everyone who is using creative hormone shop is the best guy ever or the best girl I really appreciate I would say let's die we jump to the games and let's destroy our opponents hopefully here we go guys here in the first game against Destro Z Towers all good good luck to him just play my ghost in the back he do up zappies all good okay brother I mean, I'm just gonna he spirit this and ban it opposite lane okay so he drops his hunter so honestly I don't really know if I see hunter plus zappies I'm gonna think about um Earthquake about the Royal Giant Earthquake deck. So he decides to do this. Okay, I'm just gonna kite this. Honestly, this is a really great kite. And this is how like Ice Scrum still gets a ton of volume against this like spam decks. I can just go for a ghost here. It's in the middle, so the ability, yeah, it gets some volume, right? But it's not as valuable as it would have normally um without the ice golem kite and pulling everything into the middle. So I'm just gonna go for another collect there. We have the bandit on the map. Mm. So I'm happy about this. Great charge. Okay. Okay, looks like... Okay, he's just gonna go for the um, lightning here, which is okay play, but we are up like a ton. We are up so much elixir right now. This is what we know. We kind of need to be careful with skeleton. I mean, also, the splash of the... Um, Skelly King is really annoying. So what I'm gonna do right now is just gonna heal split over the lane. This is really, really great. He's solo on elixir. And this is really, really good for us. He's not going to get the ability down, so we're just going to pressure one for Ban, and this is what you want to do. You want to get the Elixir Advantage, and then you want to punish the opponent. This is exactly what we did there, and we are looking absolutely strong. So actually, Ban connects, so I might just pump at 6, because he doesn't have enough Elixir for Lightning. So he needs to play his Lightning late. This is kind of situation when you want to um, lightning, uh, want to pump early if you have the Elixir Advantage. Otherwise, you don't really want to do it, because if you go pump at 6, and your opponent's going to play Hawk Rider, you're in, in trouble. Just gonna go for my Royal Ghost in the back. He drops his Royal Giant. I'm thinking about just going three Musketeers in one lane. I think I'm just gonna do it here. I don't know if he's able to get a good lightning out of that. And even if he's like at least two of them are gonna survive. I'm just gonna go for Bandit here just to pressure a bit. So and we're just gonna pump once again. We can do it. Easy. Let's just gonna go for another pump here. Gonna pump like in the gym. I'm just gonna go for my heal spirit here. Hopefully healing up the royal ghost. No, didn't really work out, but I can just go now easily for Ice Gloom here. The ghost gets invincible and this is what we want to see. Because now I can just go for my e-buffs. Why well, I'm going for my e-buffs and didn't go for the before because Skeleton Army is kind of annoying, but I think in this situation was fine. I thought he needed one more card for the Skeleton Army, but still okay. So what I'm gonna do right now is just gonna ban it here. Ghost. Heal spirit. And I think, honestly, I'm just gonna ice golem this. And I'm just gonna go for another elixir pump. Why not? Just let's let's get the pumps going. Because now I'm able to play slow and go for three musketeers in the back. And build up a huge push. Okay, three musketeers are coming down. Okay, let's go. e -bobs. Ice golem. And I'm just gonna go for a heal spirit here. And I think, honestly, this is gonna be it. GG's were applied. We have the Elixir Advantage. We are able to punish right. And this is the thing. Just getting Elixir Advantage isn't enough. You need to punish the opponent at the right time. Here we go, guys. See you in the next game against Twisted. So, good luck to Twisted. I'm just gonna go for Ben. You cannot have Elixir Collector in your starting hand. So, cycling a Bandit is, like, one of the best moves. You can also cycle like Barrel, but you normally really want to wait for a few seconds. Honestly, the timing from the Heatspeed was horrible. Just gonna go for my bearing bowl now. We clean it. I'm just gonna go e -bops. So I'm fine. Okay, um. So he just drops his Mega Knight. This is okay for us. I mean, I'm just gonna go for my Elixir Collector here. I mean, he has Mega Knight. Mega Knight is really good, but a really great thing if you're facing a Mega Knight deck is that. Which are people kind of really underestimating. 
that if you play the heal spirit at the right time when the mega deploys, you cannot kill a heal. You cannot kill a heal spirit with the mega knight. This is kind of important. So three musketeers or like two musketeers, and you just join a lower mega knight. You're gonna heal spirit. They get healed up back, and you're fine. You're chilling, guys. So let's go for the bandit here. Okay, I'm just gonna go for a vein roll. This time we didn't miss, so we're gonna get like a huge elixir advantage of that because he used his dark winds and yeah. His dark ones and a firecracker. So I could just go for another pump, and this is what you want to do. If your opponent has an earthquake, three musketeers get a ton of value, right? Three musketeers are not one of the best decks in Clash Royale, but they're viable, at least in certain matchups. Um, so if your opponent has earthquake, don't use your elixir pump. You really want to rely on your three musketeers and defending, and always go for the counter push. So I'm just gonna go for my heal spirit here, as I said, because he might go for MK, he doesn't, and this is gonna be like another easy dub. If you get this elixir advantage, there's no way. Even the best players in the world, Muhammad Life, Mugi. They cannot defend this. You cannot defend a free musketeer e double lane, split lane pressure push with like five less elixir. This is impossible. So there are some decks in the matter without a big spell. And this is like why the deck shines right now. So guys, your next game, we actually have pump after the bandit. So this is great. Just go bandit, pump. Okay, pump. Let's go. He drops his e in a bag. I mean, we don't really have the best e giant answers, but also kind of underestimating. Like he has lightning, right? So if I go for e plus heal spirit at the perfect time, we also should be fine. So I'm just gonna go for my Royal Ghost here. So I hope the bats go in front. And now I'm just gonna go for my e here. Yes, he might lightning this. But if I get a heal spirit in the perfect position, this is just huge. This is massive because now I can just go for my Baron Brawl, clean it up. And I also can go in for an Ice Golem Kite here. I'm also gonna drop my Bandit here. Just to make sure it's not gonna be too much damage. I think I could also ghost this. I think because I also get a counter push. This is really, uh, really, really. Nice, I'm just was using a German word. That's really, really nice with the stack that even if you're like kind of over committing on defense, you still get counter push, right? With bridge from decks in general, you don't really mind like over committing into something because you can always get a counter push. Even if just like a ghost against a fire split, you normally get a positive elixir trade out of that. And this is what you really want to get. Um, playing any type of bridge spam deck and free musketeers especially with the e-bobs is also a type of bridge spam deck so i'm just going for my elixir collector he could fireball that if he fireballs that i'm just going to drop my free musketeers in the bag and he most likely will play the e-giant into the two uh, two musketeers to kill it i guess so if he drops e-giant in the bag i'm just going to go bandit okay i'm just going to bandit here i'm just going to go opposite because now he needs to play something in front of the e-giant or just lets it go for free elixir getting almost tower down looks Really, really solid for me. So, I mean, what means almost? We're gonna get tower down. So, I'm just gonna form three musketeers here. Why? Yes, he has fireball, but fireball isn't killing the three musketeers. So, I can just go in for the heal spirit, hopefully. Okay, I'm just gonna go for my ice golem here. I can just go for the bandit. And as I said, this is like a really, really solid team. It's also ice golem. Once again, carrying our game here. The night witch bats aren't coming out anymore, and we're in a huge spot, and I can just pump again. For the third time today, we have two elixir bombers on the map, and we're just controlling the game really, really great. So, I'm just gonna go for Royal Ghost in the back here. I'm just gonna drop this. I'm just gonna go for his. I hope he fireballs now. No, he doesn't. Okay. So it will be like kind of an easy defense, I guess. So we can just cycle to another ghost. He has clone. Okay, this is a really weird deck. But I mean that's fine, right? I'm just gonna go for my ice golem here. Hmm. I'm just gonna go for e -bops here, and I think this is it. I don't really think there's any way for him to defend this anymore. Yes, he might be able to defend this somehow, some way, but he won't get my tower on time. GG's were played. Another great win, guys. Here we go, guys. See you next game against L.A. Leander. Let's go. Good luck to him. Hmm. I'm just gonna go for a ghost here. Okay, Skelly King. I think in this situation, I just might free musketeer all you on. Like, baiting out a fireball, I think this is okay, because you also... He has like a good, really good um, free musketeer counter out of hand with the Skelly King, so we can actually counter it. And then he might use his big spell, and then we can pump. I think in this situation, it makes more sense to not cycle and ban it into the Skelly King, especially when you use the ability. So I'm just gonna wait here. I have my bubble in waiting in case he goes in for something. Okay, looks like not. So I can just go for my Elixir Collector here. And this is just looking absolutely massive, guys. We are getting a huge damage advantage, so now he's just deciding to drop this. Okay, I'm just gonna go for my Barbarian Brawl here. Okay. Ghost. Okay, and the good thing is, we're not just defending, we're also cycling. While defending, cycling is always good. Okay, I hope the heal spirit kills the fisherman. No, it doesn't. So what I'm gonna do right now, just need to ice comb like this to kill also the fisherman. I'm just gonna go bandit here. 
And I'm just gonna go on for my Barbarian Bolt here, cleaning that up. Really, really great. He still needs to defend the Bandit. I don't really think he has his Skeleton Army Cycle, so he needs to go for a Log. He needs to also play something else. And we're once again in a huge spot, and we're up once again with two Elixir Pumps. Why are Free Musketeers okay in the meta? I mean, the meta isn't really too good for Free Musketeers, but what is the big advantage about Free Musketeers is the experience from the players. People didn't play against Free Musketeers for quite some time, so even a deck isn't the best deck in the Clash Royale, it still can work because of the experience from the opponent. And this is also what really works in mid ladder, right? People in the top ladder, they know what they're playing against, right? They know on the Mega Knight decks, the Mortar decks, the Expo decks, but in mid ladder, when your opponent's playing like, I think everybody from you experienced it, right? Plays like an E-Giant um, Expo deck, you're kind of screwed, um, because you don't know what the opponent's playing, the surprise factor really, really helps in the experience in the matchup. So, I mean, he's just gonna lock this, which he can do. To be fair, he's playing really well so far. Like my, I thought like I could use my elixir advantage and bag away, but I'm just gonna go through musketeers here. I'm just don't really want a barbarian bow, so I just hope this is putting in enough work in. But it looks like it's not really putting too much work in. We're losing a tower here, okay. I'm just gonna go bandit. Ice golem. This. This. Okay, this is fine, I guess. So I'm just gonna win the opposite lane. I think actually we lost this game. I think he played really, really well. Um, but generally, I still think we could have played it a, be a bit better. I mean, we were up so much, but he had like the right answer. So this is one of the harder matchups, I guess. I think we won it early on. But this is one of the harder matchups, as I said. He played really well. Three Musketeers are back in a matter, yes. But you still need to be really, really good with it to have success with it. And also, it's really, really matchup depends. So please let me know in the comment section what you guys think about Three Musketeers. Um, I don't really think it's gonna work on top ladder, but I think classic challenges, grand challenges, and maybe in some competitive dual combination it could work. And I would say I'm out. Thanks for watching it. Goodbye, guys.